The father of a young woman who lost her life in a terrible crash in the Halifax area last month is asking for forgiveness for the driver. Danielle Hudson was one of two people who died after a Honda Civic left the Beaverbank Road and rolled several times. The accident remains under investigation, but the father says he has forgiven the young man who was driving because his daughter would have wanted it that way. CTV's Bruce Frisco has the story. Yeah, it was the same thing. I asked her, what are you doing, work? Coming over, probably not tonight. It's a short dialogue of text messages Mike Hudson has reviewed a hundred times. Quite literally, his last conversation with his daughter. A few hours later, at 4.30 in the morning, the buzzer rang in his cozy apartment in Lower Sackville. Mike assumed Danielle was stopping by after a night of celebrating with friends. And uh, when I sat back down, my phone rang, and it was my buddy Rory out there, and he told me, I'm so sorry about your daughter. And I thought, this is crazy. I just let my daughter in. He said, no, you did. So I went out, and sure enough, it was the police. And they just told me, you better get in there. It was bad. The single vehicle crash had claimed the life of 21-year-old Greg Golding and badly injured Danielle. She passed away in hospital the next day. I went to the Gregory's wake and met him. We had a good cry together and talked. And I told him uh, accidents happen. She doesn't hold it against you, neither do I. And anytime you need a place to stay or someone to talk to, come see me. This small roadside memorial is all that remains of the crash site. Hundreds of cars pass by every day, and most probably don't even notice it anymore. At the time, police indicated alcohol may have been a factor in the crash. But two weeks later, they're still trying to piece together what happened. It's very difficult to comment on the investigation because it's still ongoing, but I can tell you that uh, investigations such as these are, are very large and there are many, many components to the investigation. There's uh, several avenues that investigators have to follow before they can uh, move forward on the investigation. I'll see you again. Tributes from friends continue to pour in and a GoFundMe page to help the family with funeral expenses met its $10,000 goal in just a few hours. Polo, you gonna hang? Hmm? For his part, Mike Hudson says he's coping, taking comfort in acts of kindness and Danielle's cat, who he's adopted. He says a psychic has assured him Danielle's spirit is always nearby. She just told me uh, she loves me and she's always gonna be around us. Guiding a heartbroken father down a path of forgiveness. And we should mention another young woman survived the crash, a friend of Danielle's. She is still recovering, but Mike says she remembers nothing about uh, the accident. And the driver, a 21-year-old man, also a friend, was released from hospital uh, shortly after the crash. Hudson says uh, he's hopeful that the two men can heal together in the weeks and months and years ahead, Steve. It's an extraordinary story, Bruce. Thank, Thank you. you. CTV's Bruce Fisco for us tonight from the newsroom in Halifax.